Brad.
Good evening, traders. Welcome to episode 634 of the show. You could be doing anything, but you're here, and I appreciate it. Bitcoin, right? The uh, end of the day stream, it was the price action we saw. Didn't really think we were done, right? It didn't make sense to be kind of to be done where we were, right? Where you had an impulse down, indecision candle, kind of another one, really ended engulfing the previous. And there you went. Asia woke up, right? They brought more to the table by selling this off even more, which is fine. We're now, I think that we had the 50% retrace. We're lower than the 50% retrace, 10,660. Let me uh, measure it real quick. Had to restart my PC again. <laughs> of course, right? Yeah, exceeded the 50% retrace of 10,700. That's what it was. The 618 is 10,330. Have not quite gotten there, but I'm sure in time we could. Uh, we are more oversold. We, we are so oversold, we haven't seen levels like it since June 4th. June 4th, man. Here it was. Big, big sell off, right? Um, this is where people were scared, um, but this is when we started showing like some bullish convergence on both oscillators, right? Kept making higher lows in the previous low, and then we were gone again for one of the last legs. Wow, didn't stop. So here we are, once again, extremely oversold. So maybe we get a relief rally, right? Just to get us out of oversold territory, and then we might just sell off again. And then at that point, we might show ourselves some divergence. Who knows, right? How it's going to play out. But uh, we just know that, all right, it was an up thrust. An up thrust where we broke critical resistance on the daily looking left and weekly for that matter. And just once we broke it, there was no follow through price action. It was terrible. All we did was make lower highs. And then we sold off, back tested that double bottom, attempted a rally on the weekend, was awful. The, you know, once we pivoted, made another minor lower high, and that, that was it, man. That's all the confirm confirmation the market needed that there was not any demand up here. Uh, had to push this price lower to get more demand. And fundamentally, you got the President Trump administration delaying tariffs. All right, pretty much saying, hey, we're delaying the insanity. Everyone knows how insane the market is. It's been around 10 and a half years, this market cycle. All right, recession, easily gonna be accelerated by creating tariffs. And we, we just realized, hey man, well, China definitely, all right, one chess move, well, it's the other's turn, right? China's chess move, they devalued the currency and completely negated what uh, the president, you know, the Tr Trump administration tried to do with tariffs. Uh, you know, China made their, their goods cheaper, so just negated it and was like, okay, your move, US, well, Today, the U.S. made their next move, which was we're going to delay tariffs because we realize it didn't it wouldn't go anywhere. It's not going to do anything. And it's only going to, again, accelerate the recession. That's probably inevitable at this point. You can see the signs everywhere all over the world. So. Uh, OK, that was the move. And when that move happened, markets kind of flip flopped again. Right. Stock market, U.S. dollar running up uh, very high today a big big day on the stock market big recovery right uh following up last week's recovery right after the big dump and so uh guess what the things that inverse the tumult around the world didn't do too well well bitcoin did way worse but gold it didn't really do well but it sure as heck is holding on man gold so strong man John Anderson, thanks for the two dollars super chat. He said he he said remember he called it weeks back. All right, man. He called it, but we did top out on the sixth, right? Well, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, like you know, you hit the the top of the channel, right? I did think there was uh, always a chance that we could break to the upside. Heck, man, I thought you know we were consolidating pretty well after an impulse up, but hey, man. Not easy going tops or bottoms, right? We were able to 
you know, find our way here with the divergence was real good. But man, what sucked about up here was, you know, we were consolidating and we didn't show any kind of bearish divergence up there on either oscillator. And that was kind of like, uh, but we did have other coinciding variables, which was Fibonacci and geometry combined, right? Um, the down slipping resistance, the 78% retrace from X to A, and the B to C Fib extension, the 1618. Those are the coinciding variables right there in hindsight that uh, were uh, indicating maybe we would sell off, right? That's it. So we have 47 minutes left until another four hour candle close, the first four hour candle of the day. Stuck around with you earlier, you know, for the day stream to see the end. The end of the, the day yesterday. Now we're all, all on a new day and it's all, all, all that's happened is just sell, selling. Okay. We look at futures chart. Not much different, right? You just uh, kept testing the top trend line of the uh, down sloping resistance of the channel and then just gave way eventually and sold off. So here you are at 10,695, well, much closer to spot price. Fill the gap. Definitely, definitely fill the gap here. And that's about it. No pattern development on the downside. Uh, bearish convergence and definite bearish convergence on the RSI where you're now oversold. You just got uh, as oversold. You haven't seen this much weakness on the RSI since January. That's before the bull run began. Now it was about a week before that bull run started. But that is how oversold we are on the futures. Wow. February 9th, right? Or sorry, not February 9th, uh, January 9th, right? No, 29th, right here. I think. Eh? Am I crazy? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. That was it, man. Right in here. That was where we uh, uh, initially took that entry on the Gartley and didn't know for eight days it would make a, a lower high and then come back to entry to double bottom. And give us more bullish divergence before it all ran to the upside. But as you can see, without making the adjustment like we have done already before, um, you're clearly out of the channel, right? The channel you were in, you're out. And uh, we can make adjustments to it. I mean, I, I did it yesterday. It's not difficult to do, but I'm just leaving it like this for now so you can see. Until we break this down, slipping resistance, man. The downtrend continues, uh, but your trend is not truly in jeopardy, I don't think, until 7,500. That's when you really know, man, That's that was like the local support that we created for this whole trend. One of them. It was like, it's like the most important one so far. So who knows how long this will continue selling off, but, you know, if you're talking about an X, A, B, C, D pattern, you're at a nearly the second profit taking level if you're talking about a 618 the golden retrace all right will this make deeper retraces deeper retraces to 9787 which is the 786 will it go to 9464 the 886 gotta think uh in this golden zone we would uh, potentially pivot rally make a lower higher higher high to create some another type of harmonic maybe Right, if this is X, A, looking for B, pivot point for C, and then D, right? Dang, dude, who keeps like unsubbing to the channel? It's like, what are y'all doing? Just like, if you don't like it, just leave. Don't, just go ahead. You know, it's like, I don't even get it, man. Oh, Bitcoin dumps, man. Oh, man, time to quit. Time to give up on crypto. Uh, good, good spirit, man. Thanks for the uh, 350 people tuned in on a Tuesday. I wonder what all those people that like who, that were here when we had like 3,000 plus people watching. What are they even doing right now? I'm just wondering. Like, what did they go back? What were they doing before? And what are they doing now, chat? Do you know what they're doing now? <laughs> Ridiculous, man. Kevin Grubb, we'll see, man. Okay. We will see. What's up, Bo? He's 19. He holds Bitcoin. Just trying to learn as much between his job and what he does on the side. Hey, Bo, man, that's wonderful. Congrats on being young and being woke. 
to a point where you care about, hey, man, most 19-year-olds are watching Ice Poseidon, you know, throw food at homeless people or get his butt shaved. I think that's what's happening tonight. So good on you, man. Good on you. PlayStation. There you go, man. People playing PlayStation. Man. Oh, yeah, David, that's true, man. They FOMO'd in, lost all their money, and now they're out. I'm quit crypto, man. I got in at 13K, man. Luke's here to learn. Well, good, man. Good. There's lots of stuff that we, uh, oh, I try to teach in here, you know, and, and the community is so awesome. Like, you ask questions. Someone in the community in this live chat will probably try to answer your question the best of their ability. Crypto Fish wonders the same thing, right? Bruh. Playing Fortnite. There you go, dude. So defunct man good to see you all right so all coins oddly all right with this bitcoin selling seven percent in the past well you know five percent yesterday already over two percent on the new day hadn't even been four hours yet all coins surprisingly haven't really budged you know it's funny the bitcoin cash is up they kept going man so Ethereum, seriously, were these altcoins recently? Yes, very recently. They've uh, been getting wrecked just like Bitcoin, about the equal amount percentage points on dumps. They're starting to not move down anymore. Should be noted. Best live chat, bro. Music. Tie and response creative on October 10th. I'm learning as much as I can about TA. Sold all mine at 11.5K, gonna go in at a lower level. John Anderson, thanks for the ten dollars super chat. Uh, responsive creative, no response creative on ten out of ten. Response creative on October tenth. I'm confused, John Anderson, with the response creative part. Uh, thank you, man, though, and uh, fantastic that you took a little private. Uh, yeah, man, after eleven one, and really seeing what happened after the square up. It was almost like, uh, you know, this thing's going to keep going, right? I mean, dude, that break and just indecision today just was ominous. Like, okay, this thing's not done, right? And Asia was waking up. It's like, Asia's not, what's Asia going to do? They're going to pump this price up based on nothing? No, nah, they'll probably just follow it through with some more selling to create some more demand. And yeah, because they would have bought it up yesterday or the day before, even with it being the weekend. So, John, man, thank you for the Monero in the jar, the TN Super Chat. When should we be worried if we break 7,500? That's the big, yeah, we're, Bitcoin's probably screwed and going to much lower price. We fall below 7,500, man, okay? So, yeah, man, all right, the whole, what happened, man? You're, you're not down any yet and really moved at all on Ethereum with Bitcoin dumping. So does that, and, but the thing is, it's like, is it now the alts that were getting so wrecked and not responding well and Bitcoin ran to the upside, they're now decoupling a little bit from that selling pressure that every time Bitcoin saw the selling pressure, the alts equally saw that. And now they're not right now. Maybe it's delayed, lagged, whatever, but uh, hey, interesting because that hasn't happened in a while. This, this hasn't happened in a while where Bitcoin sells off and alts don't move. Okay. And Bitcoin Cash moves up. Didn't move, man. Didn't move. Could be back testing a spring, right? Right now. Could be X A B C D stuff. The same thing we just looked at on uh, Ethereum. X A B C D eight eight six. It's a bat. A potential bat. Whoa. 886. Jeez, man. That's it's because of that wick. There you go. Could be a higher low double bottom at a critical support. Again, this asset didn't budge on the Bitcoin sell off just recently. Hmm. Thinking Pepe, right? Something like that. I think I have it, man. Let me see if I do. I have Pepe hands, Pepe relief. 
crap. I don't know what it's labeled as. I don't know. Too much stuff, man. I'll never find it. No way. Okay. So holding sport, 84.79. Uh, guess what, man? You got crazy amounts of bullish convergence going on right now. I'm just saying. Of course, this could change. But this is decent, man. This is decent on Litecoin, especially with this whole Bitcoin thing. All right. Interesting levels for Ethereum and Litecoin. XRP. Okay, man. Whatever. Same thing. X, A, B, C, D, maybe. Well, no, soon enough, you're just at these critical support levels, right? There's many of them. Here's another one right there. You fell below it. You ran up. You sprung to the upside. Maybe you're back testing the spring again, and you could be setting up to run higher. It's the same type of uh, activity you're seeing on the oscillators with a slightly higher low and uh, almost inexistent negative MOMO and higher levels relative strength, bullish convergence, add a critical support on a back test. Not too bad, man. Not too bad right now. We set up the stops and see what happens from this interesting change up in the meta because we've been monitoring the crap out of it, man. Like we, we've we been talking about it all the time. We cover it every day, right? Bitcoin pumps, altcoins don't really follow. Bitcoin dumps, altcoins equally follow from where they were when they sold off. Now that's not happening. Okay. Bitcoin Cash ran up, went up, man. It went up and it hit 354, 382 overhead resistance, as we discussed in the day stream about Bitcoin Cash. Got to break that, man. Big deal if you break that. Could see 384 pretty fast if we can break 354, which we have not done yet. We just ran up to it. Kind of tried to break it and pull back. Kind of makes sense why you pull back because we know how important it is as a resistance. <sighs> All right. So let's look at the big five. Look at the Bitcoin futures. Talked about different things. So uh, going to say hi. I guess, like we do all the time. So lost JXN. What's up, Crypto Cracker? Crackalackin, Mr. Meme. Julia, good to see ya. There's Alex in the house. He's been looking at ZRX. That's just been getting just pummeled incessantly, right? Hey, Kenneth Goodson, you should have bought gold, man. We, we've been on the gold bus for over a year now well over a year and it was just it was just like this slow going momo shift that like if you knew how to identify accumulation and momentum shifting it was just sitting there it was just the whole time every day oh, would you look at that on gold even before the break of the neckline so mr osman drf pv F-R-V-I-T. What's up with y'all's names, dude? What in the world? Sorry, just uh, catching up, man. Keith Carr says he honestly tends to tune in more when things are popping. Certainly, man. Certainly. I'm sure that's clearly the case. That's evident. There's, there's evidence. It's empirical at this point. On the mind, there you go, dude. Hey, Tim Payne. Aaron Ron, there you go, man. Sage words. What would it retrace to if this was the formation of another pattern? Again, uh, we, we don't know. You, you would think that if it was creating another harmonic, commonly you're not going to fobble the 618 before rallying to create C from B to C. But there's always that offshoot chance you could run down the 786 before pivoting and rallying. So 10-3, if you're looking for a, just a standard harmonic like a bat uh, or Gartley or Cypher to develop in time, a bullish one, uh, yeah, you need to be uh, 
not falling any lower than 10,300. Okay. Everyone assumes that Roger Ver pumps big one cash. Yeah, dude. He did it, man. Kyle M, of course, of course, man. Like, you could look at all the leading indicators and the lagging indicator. Well, the lag indicators aren't bad. Like, unemployment is a lagging indicator, and it's at 60-year uh, lows. But again, unemployment grows after the recession started, and it's, like, confirmed there's a recession, right? That's a lagging indicator. Le leading indicators are, like, uh, you look at, did you know this, chat? That retail clothing sales, right, whether it's virtual or brick and mortar crashed did you know that restaurant sales bar sales have crashed uh there are other uh other categories where those are leading indicators and uh they are a, a lot of them are pointing down okay So I just continue to read and drink my beer. And I'm just chilling out tonight, man. It's another one of those chill streams, right? I mean, y'all are chilling with me. All 450 of y'all, all right? We're just hanging out, man. Just to imagine this as some sort of IRL stream, but there's a chart, okay? And we sometimes talk about those charts. <sighs> Most of the time, anyway. Mr. Noted also is just to show support on a slow night. Thanks, man, for the two super chat. Cheers, man. Cheers. talk about trash you want to talk about trash look no further than bat to BTC Doug Bernard says when buy cheap and when do I sell Lambo lol just kidding Doug Bernard are you sure you're kidding man thank you man for the Canadian super chat man Chill is the new hype, yeah. Until we break the down slipping resistance, it's chill in the chat. No hype in the chat, all right? Oil squared up, Danny Armada. Square up, man. So anyway, <laughs> took a small chance on bat. What a loser coin. Now, when we took the chance on bat, look how the rally went, but... You couldn't make a higher high. That's how pathetic and uh, just shows how, look, I mean, you had all the awesome, like the nice bullish divergence, you had the shortening of the thrust, hitting a critical, critical support. You take a long, you rallied on up, but again, didn't even come close to making a common retrace at all. So from there, see you by from your previous low. Moving to Paradox, man. Thanks for the $2. Bruh. Super chat. He says YouTube notifications suck. Dude, again, are you part of the Discord? If you're part of the Discord, you never have to rely on YouTube notifications ever again. I have to say this every single day because everyone says YouTube notifications suck. Every day. All right. So join the Discord. Make sure your notifications are on. We will you will get pinged. No matter where you are on the planet, if there's signal, right? There's internet signal. It'll say at everyone. Mitch is now current. Mitch is currently live, and you're like, "What? I didn't get a YouTube notification." Doesn't matter because you're part of the Discord, right? Okay, join it. It's like four thousand five hundred people or something in it now. It's exploded and keeps growing every day, man. So why not be a part of it? Bat more like, "Yep, exactly, Bebo." Couldn't have said it better myself. From the previous low to high to get our fib extensions, we've got them. Uh, you kind of bull you bullishly engulfed right below that 1414. You're above it. Hey, does this look bullish to you? I mean, let's be real here though, okay? 
you still are making more divergence, which is, is who cares almost at this point. It's just so, what a trash can asset. I mean, this pair is so bad. I mean, in the low to the lower low, you were diverging here and it played out. But now it's like you can't say bullish divergence on the RSI, not really, because this low is here, right? So taking your previous, you'd be cherry picking your lows just to say you have divergence from this low to not this one, but this low to this low, you're diverging. Sure, but you get what I'm saying? That's eh, not as clear, man. Though either way, man, yes, you keep making lower lows, you keep making lower levels, negative momo, and you're at levels you haven't seen since uh, December of 2017. It's terrible, dude. BDC pairs, you wanna be depressed? Keep looking at them, man. Why does Discord ask for your phone number? Because if you're a scrub troll loser, you get banned, you can't get back in. That's why. Uh, believe me, we wouldn't do that if we didn't need to, okay? Pathetic means less than good, certainly, yes. I don't think you can short Bitcoin or bat to Bitcoin anywhere, right? One twenty k subscribers, uh, never, dude, never hitting twenty k. Uh, we fell fell off a cliff. I didn't change much of anything, but no one's searching for crypto anymore, and that's very evident. I'll post a new video, get like good views, but no one, no new growth. It's just like the nineteen thousand three hundred people. Okay, they're they're watching the video, but then no one is new searching for Bitcoin, crypto, anything. So that's what the, the issue is. So probably never. And that's okay, man. That's fine. So relaxing sounds. Facebook for grannies, yeah, dude. Long forgotten. And they keep and they're using their hiring well they have been hiring third-party contractors to transcribe different people's audio from everything from the microphones then they're like oh well we do that because they gave us permission the people gave us permission it's like yeah you can't even use the app probably without them gaining permission right doug doug bernard saint bernard thanks for the 211 super chat did I meet the Jesus man in Vegas? Uh, the Jesus man's with me at all times. I don't have to go to Vegas to meet him. Okay, so now we're good, man. We're hanging out right now, dude. The Jesus man. Thanks, St. Bernard. What's up, uh, Battle League? Young Love says Terminator style. They'll be back. Terminator style? Back, back is in the uh, musician. They'll be back. That would be interesting. If they would be Bach, then they could play us some sweet tunes. Don't think we can get copyright strike for that. Should be okay. You're just paranoid about giving your info to anyone. Oh, to everyone? No, you're not giving it to everyone. You're giving it uh, not even really to us. You're just giving it to Discord. And so you can get a two-factor authentication. So if you get banned, you'll never be able to join the Discord again. So it creates accountability. Or, hey, you want to be stupid? You think you're going to troll? Good luck, dude. Bring it on. What's up, Mitch Kang, dude? Yeah, it's not going to happen, dude. I don't know, man. So Andrew Crawford, Samsung, Amazon, Google, definitely. Yeah, they, they were mentioned in the article I was reading today. Bitcoin 10,570. What was it? Uh... So gold has risen slightly back above 1,500 now. Let's go hype, hype in the chat for gold. The uh, 
the rich man's Bitcoin. What? Don't say that, Mitch. Sorry, dude. Google been around like over, you know, been I mean, before uh, 20th century, 6,000 years, man. It was Kang's. Any thoughts on Jeff Dirtbag sign conspiracies? Bruh. Nope. I think he might have been a sociopath. And I don't know about conspiracies, though. Probably not, dude. Put yourself in his shoes. And that's it. I don't know. Uh, I haven't been following that stuff. What's the point, dude? Me putting that information, that those things in my mind, it's like, what's the point? <sighs> didn't find a point, so didn't really look into it more. Oh, yeah. Thank you, dude, for the three ninety nine Canadian super chat. What's up, nigger bot? Chill in the chat for gold. That gold that broke out of its... uh of sloping flag i think it hit the measure move with the wickage right 15 35 remember anytime like you get a little flag like this you can measure right from the size of it from low point to high point and just measure from the breakout and guess what dude yeah you hit your little measure move i mean these are just little standard trades it's just a way to get a measurement of uh of a breakout and you clearly got it and did people just take profit maybe maybe they did but yeah big it seems like big supply issues on gold right now and i asked larley way back way before we broke the neckline i was like dude how are we gonna get above that 1525 mark and he was just like dude how do how do most assets break critical resistance points after big runs already bomo and it makes sense. Things are kind of lining up that way, FOMO. And it wouldn't be like FOMO as in, oh my God, I gotta get gold. I think that's gonna be part of it. But then it's like, you know, the Chinese devaluing the currency and all these like people, these billions of people in China getting gold just a little bit, man. All of them collectively getting it could push this price up much higher. And that get get us the measure move. 1653 is the measure move of this insanely large pattern on gold. Gotta love it, man. Gotta really, really love it. Why is this? Oh my God, sorry, there we go. Not much of a change, but um, now be careful here, right? You gotta be a little careful with your position if one's looking to get into gold. Uh, maybe right now is not the best time, simply because high on price, higher high on price, lower levels of positive momentum, class A bearish divergence, I do declare. All right, it is a declarative statement. Inside joke from the day stream. Not inquisitive or interrogative. Declarative class A bearish divergence on the daily on gold from a high point to the next high point. At. All right. Bearish divergence at critical, critical resistance, man. So we'll see how the divergence plays out. All right. Take note of the divergence on gold. All right. What's up, true northern sun? Yes, I'm talking to you. You, you. Oh, man. I need one, man. I need a synthesizer of some sort that will make my voice echo. I need that so bad. Joshua seems possible, uh, but really short bounce. Don't really see what we're holding on to right now that would prevent us from continuing to fall. Besides us being just at 23 lowest levels we've seen on RSI since, uh, what was it again? June, early June of this year. That would be maybe the only reason we would bounce to the upside. So even if we bounce, yeah, probably could make a lower high. May, uh, you know, I think that uh, at this point, breaking 11.1, I don't. It would, it would make sense to run up and back test 11,100 before selling off further. What is this, David? Man, go to a gas station. 
post a picture in Discord. All right, man. Dude, I hate it. I feel like I have a mustache growing. I can't do this, man. Why is this growing faster than everything else? Do you see that, chat? I've never in my life had a, a singular mustache, like where it's only a mustache, it's nothing else. I've never done that. Never. So it just feels weird that it's coming in faster than everything else. Pissing me off. <sighs> Russell, I'll uh, post a link to what I, I think you should all watch this. 35 minutes, man. Just chill out, get a coffee, and just sit down and watch. All right? So you can become better illuminated. Hold on. I'll get you. There it is. 35 minutes, man. And this shows the indicators, leading and lagging indicators. You'll learn a lot if you watch this video. Maybe do it after the stream. I mean, you can watch it now, but whatever, dude. That'd be like, you're welcome for sh me showing it to you. But uh, thanks to the 470 people here. Just posted a link. Um, and there's evidence why we might very well be going towards recession. I mean, it, everything's screaming that yes, we're on the way. I mean, 10 and a half years. Come on, dude. Shave my mustache harder. Oh, yeah. Crypto Don Juan in the house, man. What's up, dude? Hey, Zach Walter says BCH gang. Zach, are, are those real? A BCH gang? Never heard of this. John Anderson's your favorite channel, favorite live channel. Y'all have a good night. Keep it real. Thanks, John Anderson, for the kind of words. And thank you for being a part of this community, man. You're part of it, dude. The mustache is a leading indicator. Wrecked. Iron. Iron man. Yeah, dude, I'm not. I'm not going to grow out my mustache ever. It just is naturally growing in, and I can see it on the actual screen that it looks its dark right there, right? Compared to here. I don't like it, man. What's up, Gritters, man? It's really not that bad. That that's what's making me sad, dude. Like, all right, here are the here's the analytics on Bitcoin ser search term, and it also has a. Uh, here's a little something for the great link. Bruh. Link connect. Thank you, uh, Alex. Man, yeah, you'll enjoy it. I know you'll love it, dude. Is that a joint? Hey Mitch, can we take a look at Beyond Meat? Yeah, we can look at Beyond Meat, dude. Thank you, uh, what would Odin do? Odin Connect. Yeah, we'll look at it right after we just look at this. Look at this pulled up. It's not gonna be a big deal. Uh, all right, <laughs> Bitcoin search, XRP search. Uh, I think Logan posted this. This is the XRP search. Derp. And then Bitcoin, right? So this was uh, lowest levels. I mean, we're back to levels, search term levels, I guess. We saw, what is that, like early June? And this was late June? Maybe this sometime in May? Huh. Sorry. Hi, Mitch. THX for your TA sharing. Your thoughts on the gold slash silver ratio, THX. Uh, don't like 60. Thanks for the $5 super chat. Uh, gold to silver. XAU to the XAG, right? I'll look at it. Yeah, we'll look at it, dude. Uh, right after Beyond Meat Connect. Thank you, man. Oh, it's on the big screen. Ooh, well, man, you broke out. Still making higher lows for now. We 
Gertie's fibs. We don't need Dude, remember you topped out. High previous high to low. You had a one six one eight. I'm talking you touched it like uh, the bots were set up, everyone's trading, setting it up. Okay, we're going to sell everything at twenty or two two hundred thirty nine dollars fifty eight cents on the dot at the one six one eight. See you buy, right? Once you touch the one six one eight fib extension, you went from two thirty nine all the way to a low of one fifty eight. Crypto who, man. Crypto who. All right, so, you know, making a higher low right now. That's okay. I mean, you know, a low on this, a low here. Either way, you got some hidden bullish evidence, I guess, from this low to this low. And you could definitely argue the same here. A uh, low on price, a higher low on price. Even if it's this one, dude. Not doesn't really matter. Okay. It's uh, some hidden bullish evidence there. So, uh, good, you know. But you broke out of the channel. Like, a pretty well-established channel. <sighs> uh, this thing is all over the place, man. But, you know, a move like that that you saw before can be really difficult to rally this thing to higher price, especially at market tumult. Uh, let's see here. On the four hour, you just, I mean, maybe we rally here, right, for just a common retrace. Maybe you start showing positive momentum. And you just go from your high point to low point to target. We haven't even hit a 23% retrace yet. You'd have to hit 177 just so we know this low point, this uh, anchor point is valid, right, for Fibonacci. Because that's like the rule of thumb, remember? Talked about it a billion times. You can't say this the bottom's actually in, or at least there's a valid bottom anchor point for Fibonacci until you really hit a 23% retrace, or at least close to it. So if it was to make just a common retrace, even though it could just sell off tomorrow, right? Just can keep dumping. Between 189 and 208. And that's just common retrace level stuff, okay? Bruh. Is that a joint? 420 billion, 420 million, 420 thousand, 420, ha 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 ha. Guess I'm not high enough to get that one, Maria. Bruh. Uh, thank you for the 420. I don't think you expected, nor did I expect it to actually say that. 420 billion, million, fulfillion, papillion. Thank you, Maria. My God. Poggers. All right, so just if it was to actually retrace here, which we don't know, it could just as easily sell off tomorrow, right? Big impulse down, slightly upsloping consolidation could just dump again. But if it didn't, if the bottom was in, we could com we would commonly retrace from 189 to 8. That's it on Beyond Me Connect. Bruh. That's it, dude. It's right there. Hold on a sec. I used to have the info data at uh yeah let me get on a daily time scale here oh my god oh it's so beautiful man un momento oh pretty man very very pretty all right here's your xau to xag this is gold to silver ratio and it's in an uptrend, been in an uptrend since May of 2011 and, you know, recently kind of dumped, right, from July 4th to July 24th before a rally again. And I think that had to do with gold exploding up, kind of leaving silver behind. But recently, I guess since late July, um, silver's kind of been going to the upside and it's kind of been normalizing, I guess, with this pair, gold to silver. So, though, yes, it uh, dumped and it's rallying barely. I mean, do you even trade this? Like, I mean, we can analyze it, right? Technically, it's beautiful. It lines up. Look at the heart line touches, 75% touches of the equidistant channel. The 20, I mean, it's beautiful. But, you know, what more am I supposed to do with this, right? There's no pattern that's developed over here, up here. You just went really high. And then you dumped, and now you're rallying again, and the uptrend continues, man. That's that's all I say. U to XAG is gold to silver. So, 
dude, did my music stop? What? Huh. Oh well, man. Guess we can uh, figure something else out. We'll bring on some more Hans and Franz radio people, man. Just kidding. Uh, 55 miles an hour. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a rigged indicator, but it's definitely a lagging indicator, right? So, um, they, though it's like at 60 year lows, remember, anytime you get below 4% unemployment, according to that Real Vision video I saw last night, you almost immediately go into recession. So, uh, again, like, just because that's low doesn't mean it's wrong or rigged. It just means it's lagging. It's like a moving average. It's not like a leading indicator showing like retail sales, you know, different sectors of shipping, sales, right? All that stuff. Those are leading indicators versus lagging. All right. What's up, baby Angela? All good to me. Well, except my PC. This PC makes me live to forget kidding 10,567 on bitcoin seven minutes to go till your four hour close the first four hour of the daily okay doesn't it hasn't been a good one man weekly pff, real bad now chat the the weekly looks awful uh, let's talk bitcoin 618 bottom Mario, I don't know. It depends on how much divergence we have, if we have any, by that time. And that's 10300 That's only, that's less than $300 away. Doesn't look very good right now. I'll tell you that. I mean, though, yeah, you might get some on the MACD. It doesn't mean that, like, you can't rally the upside itself again and get even more bullish divergence on the MACD. Triple MACD bullish divergence at lower prices. Um... If for any type of you know harmonic to develop you don't want to be falling below 10,300 and I'm talking like x8 and then we're looking for B right now Bitcoin is looking for its pivot point to create B to C and then we would need to see if we make a lower high or a higher high cipher or Gartley or bat I know that sounds weird to a lot of people but once it clicks once you get it you get in the zone of these harmonics you'll understand Takes a lot of study and practice. Yeah, like one eighty five seventy one. No big deal, man. No big deal. Again, these altcoins. I guess that's the real talk of the talk of the stream. And here's what's kind of scary, right, about Ethereum. This is a long scale uptrend you've been in, but the big irregular bearish activity, big move down like that, and your follow through price action. I mean, when you sell off like that, you always are going to retrace. You'll always get one. The retrace would go pathetic, and it's just like upsloping consolidation, right? Very ugly. And you're outside of the uptrend you've been in since early December, mid December 2018. And so, again, man, not looking, it's kind of, oh, monkey ass, certainly monkey ass. But if you go in on the four hour, it makes you scratch your head and be like, dang, dude, why did these alts not just dump today? Like Bitcoin, why did they not dump? Still just hanging on by a thread. Maybe we get a higher low before rallying. There's always a chance you could sell off again, make 113% to 141.4% retrace, and it could be a cipher of some sort, right, before you rally again. So just right now, maybe, but we know it could just dump again, and we could, instead of a, a bat pattern, we could end up with a cipher. Does that make sense? It's all about the waves, man. Don't want what's so funny, man? What's so funny, dude? Big one about to short squeeze right now. Based on not too much, man. Big one's not really holding on to a support, it's just 
at the bottom of that little downsloping channel you're in, right? Jake, all that might be true, but uh, at the end of the day, there's an almost unlimited supply of it. And just because it does something doesn't mean that it's going to be worth more than 30 cents when it does it. All right, I've been live now for about an hour. If you're enjoying the live stream, please hit the like button, that bell, that sub. Thanks for the 500 people tuned in. Like spike, sub spike. I guess. It's just us. Us 500 people, man. We're the only ones that care about crypto anymore. All right. According to the analytics, man. According to them, right? So let's see here. April, late April, so like May, June. I would think this is like the month of June. That search went up like crazy. So we're back to early June levels of interest in crypto right now online. University of Positivity. Holy crap, you should meet Prosperity Plus. Y'all would be like, y'all should definitely go on a friend date. Well, all right, dude, there you go, man. There you go. Hit the freaking golden retrace. The 618 from the high point to low point, and you sold off the top of the golden zone. And that's it, man. You're, you're now uh, selling off. You filled a gap. You haven't gone much lower. Uh, but uh, that's where a lot of times you reverse your price action. You didn't really see any bearish divergence. Check out Fib Time Zone. Tell me what you think. Ty. Dave McCoy. Is that a joint? Thanks for the uh, 420. See what chat meant. Fib Time Zone. Vertical lines extend along the X axis. Lines are placed according to Fibonacci sequence. Meh. I'd probably have to do more studying on it to be able to actually understand how to plot it and stuff, but. Uh, Trading view, man. At all, this was a reversal area, right? We had it plotted. You were at the top, 1460. You sold off, right? Really hard to say. I mean, maybe one could argue that this was a bearish divergence from this peak to this peak. All right, just a little bit. But, you know, like up here, there was resistance anyway, right? That 1436, and you couldn't break it. You pull back, you could continue selling off, right? We've had our impulse. Uh, the top could be in for now, and we could start creating consolidation pattern, and we'd be looking for, uh, I mean, to see really what it was. I mean, something also to think about, and this might be crazy talk here, but X, A, B, Oh man, would this be an insanely large cipher? All right, the PCZ of this pattern is a 786. This is a good show. This would be some, where someone might go short. X, A, B, C, D. It meets all the criteria. 116% uh, Fib extension from A to B down here. Fine. 786 is very close to a 1414 Fib extension. So there's some confluence up here, right? So you've got like this little zone right here for a potential short. Mm. 
and that's like an, uh, again a PCZ pattern completion zone and uh, someone somewhere where one would go short now it might take a while right it might take like we sell off here make a higher low eventually and then we rally again make higher highs and then this is the area right okay again it's just your standard X A B C D stuff it's beautiful man beautiful looking potential cipher well on the way to D all right C to D oh that helps thanks man all right 10,600 on the corn holding for now give it time though No Star Wars Worlds? Dude, Star Wars Worlds is M-I-A, man. Bruh. Andrew Crawford, man. Thanks for the $5 super chat. Really appreciate that. Gags. It says keep it up. Yeah, dude. The uh, pair. Mas the YouTube mascot. Super, I mean, a pair, man. Do you not have, like, uh, I, I, you probably don't because no one else has ever. All right, I've been tipped. And someone's given me a hot dog, a hamburger, a pizza, and I've seen pears. Is there any non-food related super emotes or whatever they call it on YouTube now? Besides that? Anyone? I don't know. Thank you, dude. Fear greed index at 11 right now hasn't been this low since the bottom of the bear market. Interesting. Meh. I guess. People are just scared of the lower high again. When in fact we're just in the common retrace zone from an impulse up, and you're only at the 50%. You're not even at the 618. I think falling below the 618 is when you sh should start be getting, getting a little weirded out. Like, oh, we're below a golden retrace after the previous low to high. That's not good. Now there might be areas of value at an 886, 786, especially if you start seeing some really nice bullish evidence for a long again. Star Wars World, let's go! Is that a joint? Bruh. Pib Uid. Hello, my old friend. It's him. Chad, it's really Star Wars Worlds, man. It really is him, dude. Star Wars World's in the house! Hi, in the chat. Only for that, though, we must chill for golds in Bitcoin right now. We can only get hyped for Star Wars Worlds. Okay, man. Thank you, dude, for the big four zero. Holy crap, man. Dude, the Star Wars World's coming to Vegas, man. He should. It will be legendary. And we can get him on stream. Dude, we're going to have a legendary uh, IRL stream. Like where all of us are partying, drinking in the suite, room, whatever. Uh, just hanging out. I got a wide angle lens so you can see like everything. Oh, everything. X-ray too, man. Kappa, but like that, I got a nice uh, everything that you would need for the best, highest quality IRL stream that exists on the planet. Young Love, dude, thanks for the uh, 149 super chat. It looks like there is a mustache that he emoted to me. Thank you for the mustache. Gangs, man. Wow. Where'd my music go, man? Turn it up. Can you hear the music, man, in the distance? Johnny and Bitcoin. Oh, yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about right here. I was in France Radio, man. W-R-A-Y. Tuesday night extravaganza from the rooftop bar in Scandinavia, man. Downtown Scandinavia, man. Or something. I don't know. I'm digging it, though, man. All this music. Old Square, the one that uh, never made it, dude. It never, never made it, and that's okay, man. Uh, you got to 50%, no, 60% retrace, high to low. Uh, never made it to the PCZ, right? Th these are great because it's like, hey, it doesn't make it to your, 
your your area because the macro i mean you don't know what happened here the macro earnings and then the macro after the earnings it was a double whammy real bad still not making lower lows yet uh so this is still technically kind of valid until you make lower lows in this previous low so this rallies here runs up 786 still short opportunity but good luck with that man i mean this is quite potentially a breakaway gap there was so much volume and such a strong price disparity from the previous close to the new open right i mean it's like a 11 difference that could very well be a breakaway gap either way though the downtrend you were in you're just hugging it now you're just back testing it huge spike in negative momentum there was divergence before earnings i don't care who you are this was here it was noted we said a high on price a higher high on price lower levels positive momo uh that does mean impending price action reversal well earnings was the catalyst to give us that impending price action reversal okay man uh wee wee thanks for the one dollar super no one dollar contribution oh god i can't wait to see what this said uh so for the requests like three bucks right on the tts man just because like someone could say look at all the bitcoin scrub pairs for 50 cents or 25 cents right Uh, Nike. This one, man. University Positivity, thanks for $2 Super Chat, man. I'll try to look at Clam, but uh, try to make them like $3 minimum Super thanks Chats. Thanks for grinding with us. For Mitch. request. Because Do you mind checking out Nike and KE? Also curious about your thoughts on the tariff delay. Well, I think it was strategic. I think it was Trump literally realized, wow, President Trump realized, wow, man, us putting tariffs on China was a move. And then China just did, okay, we'll just devalue our currency. And it rendered the tariffs pretty useless. And so Trump's like, President Trump's like, wow, man, well, we can't that would definitely accelerate some sort of recession what i'm doing right now and i thought it was me making a power move to put china in their place but that clearly didn't work and so uh now with the delayed tariffs as equities assets have uh run to the upside and gold and well not really gold i mean it did sell off Where some did but troll and raw did you pay ur vegas debt where did drink troll all raw doug bernard oh i certainly paid it oh i can pull it up on screen right now because it got the video got taken down because of copyright because all the music but we can definitely uh look at it we can look at the evidence at hand man all right so uh let me see here we we p wow we we thank you dude um all right we'll put that on the list pr vcf sure man all right thank you dude okay so nike all right huge uptrend it's been beautiful it's been wonderful but man really getting toppy up here right i mean high on price another high another high right you had divergence here and it played out brilliantly before our nice rally and the same resistance, man. The exact same one. So let me uh go far real quick. Let me hide this. So what's going on with Nike? I mean, that looks like really double toppy, doesn't it? Really double toppy. So you're asking the question, is it a double top or is it an ascending triangle now, right? <laughs> and I'll show you. Uh, this is uh, not easy here. This one's not easy, right? Double top, sold off, you made a higher low, and you're rallying. But will the rally really, really get back up to 90 bucks, Or will it just make a lower high and then sell off again? So I'm talking about... 
Are right, you now developing, again, some sort of crazy ascending triangle here? One, two, one, two. I mean, maybe. Let me get rid of that so you can see a little better. Is this developing now? Higher lows, so accumulation. We, we don't know yet. I, I don't think we really know yet. Um, but then, so here's the other school thought, and it's like, hey man, is this some, some sort of a double top, man? Well, if it was a double top, you know, this was the neckline that you had to break to get confirmation. So it's not even a confirmed pattern yet. never happened made a higher low so i think leaving them both up like that right where you know that there might be a potential ascending triangle no beer connect bruh oh i'll show you the beer connect dudes don't you worry about that brother man we'll look at it right after this all right so the question is i mean you're at all-time highs you're near 52 week and all-time highs you could be now developing a sending triangle. Uh, think about it. If the recession's getting pushed back for the election year and all that, with the Trumps being put on hold, I mean, guess what? Tariffs being delayed, really good for Nike. You can't argue with that. So if the news is good for Nike and the bull trends to continue, it could very well be in a sending triangle in development right now. But just know if you end up making a lower high and you sell off and you break $77, it's confirmed double top adam and adam double top okay i wish it was a little bit more clear than that another way i think we could look at this all right since this is all done I mean, maybe we just have ourselves a merry little uptrend one and two on that bottom three on the top not bad man not a bad little uptrend okay with overhead resistance all-time highs, 90 bucks. Got it? It's bouncing off the 25% trend line of the Equidistant channel. Hype in the chat. Okay. Nike Connect. Oh, my God. What am I even supposed to do here, brother man? Mr. Wee Wee. Mr. Wee Wee, what can I do with this chart, man? PRVCF. I got nothing for you. This is so illiquid. There's no structure here. I don't think there's probably anyone even playing this, making this market, right? You got to have a market maker on an asset for technical analysis to even work, right? So the argument is for many, many S coins, thousands or, you know, hundreds to over a thousand plus more, the Bitcoin pairs, there's no one playing, making the market anymore on this, right? The ones that are just, uh, they look like they've gone bankrupt because there's no liquidity in those assets anymore. Therefore, why would technical analysis even work anymore? Right? This is similar, right? PRVCF. I wish there was more I could tell you, man. I guess you're out of support. All right? Bruh. New Bruh. channels are all over the is excellent because he uses clear and consistent methods of looking at the markets. Best way to learn is continue to watch channel over long run. Uh... System level, thank you for the nine, nine, nine. Super chat. Most channels are all over the place. Uh, talking about my channels? Talking about the uptrend, uptrend downtrends? Or are you talking about just like literal streams, like YouTube channels? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't look at them. All right, I try to compete against my yesterday self. CQN, thanks for the two. People were so bullish on Bitcoin, but now bearish. WTF? Uh, I mean, like, so bullish. Look, man. I think there were uh, there was a chance that it could have gone either way. Yeah, I liked the fact that we were flagging and we were back testing. We were gonna back test 11.1. We did once we broke 11.1. A, a lot of my enthusiasm kind of went away, man. And I still think we're okay. Uh, we're in the golden zone. We're just below a 50% retrace from the previous low to high. And we're looking for a pivot point. Is it going to be 382? No. 50%? Nope. 62% retrace, 10,300? We'll see. If you don't hold 10,300, you're going below 10,000 probably. Because that's where the 786 is, around 97, 9,800. So, uh, 
it's just like it goes it's not like long term bearish but there's less enthusiasm for a break to the upside at this point because bear pull or bull pull bull flags 382 breaking below 382s that's not really a flag at that point it starts getting it's down slope consolidation which is good and that's why we're still looking for a pivot point of the up upside but then from there we might make a lower high and then sell off again holy crap all right let me look for that uh video real quick Holy 19k subs, dude, it blew up and then it completely stopped in its tracks. Dude, it's like hard holding on to growth at these levels. Like I'm not producing content, I'm not doing things, man. Like even when I do things, I'm losing subs sometimes. It's like a constant, oh, I gained a sub or two. Oh, nip, nip. You lose two, three subs, it's like, what? It's like you gotta work for every sub at this level. And it's like no wonder people that just stop producing content will you look at their social blade and it's just like negative 10 subs plus every day and it's like no wonder. Okay. Um, let me look this up. you worry dude hmm I guess it's not gonna show I gotta go to my creator studio to find it cuz it got taken down so we'll see give me a sec we'll get it man don't you worry Bernard man It always takes forever to load the video manager. Blocked worldwide. There it is. <laughs> Let's get it. Dude. when it is in this video when I decided to do it. Oh, dude, it's so lit. No, no, I'm giving the tour. Where the f is it? Did I not drink a, uh, just hold on, man. <laughs> dude, I'm gonna miss that sweet, dude. I've already missed it. It was so amazing, dude. Shit, like, it's Goshu, yes, it's amazing, right? Uh, it's, uh, it takes a lot of mastery, dude, to do that. That's like, not many people can do it, dude. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh, I think I found it though. I don't even know, man, if I did it or not. I know I did it. And that's what people are asking. Did you scam? Do you still owe? Okay, chat everyone relax. It'll be okay. Bitcoin's not going anywhere. Why are we still on PRVC though? Look at this, man. I'll tell you though, I'd say the daily terrible. Daily looks awful, weekly looks even worse, man. Bro, I'm super disappointed I can't find it.
And I'm the only one who can find it because the video is blocked. So it's like, how do I even find my chug without... As I said, the rain has come again. Let's hope we consolidate now. Uh, consolidation at this point would be bearish, right? <laughs> High desert guard, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Let's hope we consolidate whatever, you know. 618s, 10,330. So we're waiting for that. I uh, don't really know where we are. Like, what support are you really holding right now? There's none. None on the daily. None on the weekly. 10,000 or 9,900 is the next daily support where we are right now. 9,900, 10,000. No doubt. Dude, I can't look so distracting. I should have like I just know I did it. That's all I know is I did it live as F. It's so hard to believe that I can't find it in this video. It's not that I, it's like a, only an hour long too and I can't find it. Time zone is in the same charting area as February. Oh, okay, it's an actual view. like tool. Thanks. Got you, dude. Thank you, uh, Dave McCoy. Well, that's. Is that a joint? Is that a joint? That's two. Is that a joints, man? Thank you for the rare. 840. Thank you, man. Gotcha. So what do I do? Hi. Let's settle this. Ten for a wheel spin. Bruh. All right, if you want. I guess we can. I don't care. I mean, dude, it's... It's, uh... Tuesday night. Let me, uh, let me get it set up, all right? We'll do this, man. Widgets, wheel connect. All right, this is for heck. He he specified he wanted it, so whatever, man. Gulp. We'll gulp heck, man. I'll gulp for you. I'll get another beer. Uh, your wife says TA with switch pay. Should you invest? Doug Bernard, can you uh, say come again in a non-sexual way? Ask her and say come again, but then say no sexual. All right, be right back. It's right here. I don't use fib circles. Dude, you find what works for you and you go with it, all right? That never worked for me. I never even went with it. I never had to. Found my own way before I got to the fib circle game, all right? Be right back.
Well, how about that? No one's live right now. It, for for this world, for the world we're in, no one's live, man. So, I'll tell you, dude. The fib time zone. I got no idea how this really works, man. Star Wars worlds. This beer is let me smile. Bruh. Does that mean you want a wheel spin too, dude? All right, I guess if someone starts the wheel spin, we can do the wheel spin. Whatever, dude. Please don't chug, man. Please don't be a chug. Please don't be a chug. Oh my God, Doug Bernard's right behind him too. Oh my God, please no. Oh, thank God. Thank God. All right. Hey man, really appreciate all your hard work and what you do. Willing to look at say you stock? SLS. Bruh. Certainly, dude. Thank you, Dewey's. Spin connect. Spin. Spin connect. Bruh. Oh my god, dude, monkey ass. Alright, alright, alright. Dang, dude. Oh, you have to drink. Sorry, Doug Bernard. That's on you, dude. Get wrecked. Backfired. Yes, hype for Star Wars Worlds always. Alright, let me see here. Oh man, this thing looks this thing looks bankrupt. How do you even SLS? Bruh. What am I supposed to do on this, man? Looks bankrupt. Wow. Huh. Dude, think about this, chat. At one time in this universe, when this asset hit its high, it looked like an IPO or maybe it's just inception price when it opened. I don't even know. But at one time, we're talking $14,381 back in 2008. Yes, 14K. Now, you're sitting at 15 pennies. Okay, we'll say 16 pennies. Oh my god, man. We're, we've gone to the underworld, chat. Bear with me. I have to scale in. Double clicking on the scaling doesn't work here. It's so bad. Bruh, I don't know what to tell you. It's awful, and I don't know what would stop it. I mean, it's a medical company, right? So uh, FDA news approvals are kind of catalyst here. It's a really news-driven market. Doesn't look like any good news been coming out for Sellas, man. Hey, dude, how perfect is the name? Sellas? Yeah, we Sellas. We be Sellas all day, bruh, on this asset. Ah, there's no way I can chart this, man. Is anyone even making the market anymore? Probably not. So what is this? I got... I don't know, it's like, ooh, is it an even eve double bottom? I don't know, man. Bruh. We'll spin for Star Wars Worlds. Dang, this... All right. This spins for Star Wars Worlds, not me. 10,564. All right. Continue to sell off a little bit more, man. Hugging the bottom of this little channel that you can see. Uh, nearing closer to that 10,330 area. The golden retrace from the previous low to high. Thank you, Julia. Holy crap. The gold mean ratio contribution. What? Social, everyone. All right. You got me anyway, Julia. Cheers. Yeah, if you shorted Sellers Connect, certainly. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Look what heck 23 started, man. It's the train, dude. Lily Bang Bangford. Australia from Live U2 coming. Why is it going backwards, dude? I can't read that. That's too much, man. I saw Lily Bangford, too. Also upside down. Holy crap. We did it to him. We just spun for him. I mean, it was for everyone. It was a social anyway. So, it was a win-win. Oh, God. Bruh. It comes in Doug Bernard, trying to go for the kill shot. Ryan Coke Connect backslash spin Mitch. Mitch is cool. Love Mitch. Mitch, Mitch, Mitch. 200 spaces to fill this sucks. I love Mitch. V-Chain may be doing nothings lol. 
Veach ain't doing things. Bruh. Dude, Doug Bernard, thanks for the 10 Canadian super chat. Thank you, dude. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Whatever. Why not? While, while the train's going. Thank God. Gold. Gold connect. Where's my moon hat, Dave? Uh, the moon, the, the hats only get put on when the jar fills. Uh, that's the way it's been and will continue to be. So. What's up, Danny, dude? Wayne Batson in the chat, man. What's up, dude? Spins part two. Who let the bulls out? Yeah, certainly, man. Certainly. Hey, Mr. Lodic. Sun Seray 230. Getting beweird. Getting beweird. Hey, what's up, Ape Show, man? One of those zombie companies. Yeah, could be. Satoshi Vision, didn't you know, man? Dark Cloud cover, of course. Seth Dominus, uh, Dominus sorry, says 44 days from uh, July 1st, 22 days from September 5th. The happenings that we're talking about, gap fill things. Bruh. All right. I say 10 more. Drink up. I'm just happy uh, Crudo Don Juan's not involved with this because it could be uh, an S show. All right. Thank you, Heck Man. Here it comes for you, dude. Oh, thank God. Yes. Heck, you just got wrecked, dude. You got wrecked, man. Drink. Wait, I don't need to drink. I don't have to drink. Sorry. Habit. Groove in the chat for the. Canada bucks. What about the Zucker bucks, dudes? It'll be worth as many. It'll be worth the equal amount of Stanley nickels. All right. Link going off. Yeah, Link broke out. Remember? Chat. Link broke out. The Mitch Dash. Crypto Zephyr. Mom. Thank God I don't have to worry about it. It's not that bad yet. Okay. Brent, uh, when this computer's on, trading views on. Always. Yeah, no matter what. Uh, okay, so Fib time zones plotted just like Fib retrace. Okay. So, going from the low point to high point, I guess that means we would eventually recover at August 26th. That's one from your low to high, and here it is, the next one. So you tell me what that means. Low to high. Let me know. August 26th. Don't know what that means, but nice. Old David, the 840. The double. Double Elons. The double E's. Ooh. Bruh. Bring on Mr. Hant, Julia. Au contraire. It's been probably two weeks, Julia. This, I mean, the hat hasn't come on since Vegas, or before Vegas, I believe. Uh oh, Star Wars World, what did more monkeys do? He said, sell Bitcoin? Question mark. Uh, well, probably wanted to sell a little bit higher, but, uh, I mean, look, man, you're literally in the middle of the golden zone between 10.3 and 11.1. So it could retrace. Jean Claude Van Damme, connect. Mitch must drink, connect on every spin, connect. Spin twice for me, Mitch. Make my day just spin twice, LOL. Oh my God, dude. All right, Doug Bernard, St. Bernard. 10,550 on Bitcoin. Gritters says uh, the fear and greed in index at all time low. I guess it's 10 now. Gritters, is that it? <sighs> come on, come on, come on, please don't. Thank God. 
social, everyone drinks. Nice, there you go. St. Bernard, no scam. Did it. Julia, you might be wasting your time. Yeah, I'm saying. What's up, uh, Coin Grinder? He says good morning. Well, good evening to you because it's late. It's 11.36 my time. 12.36 a.m. Eastern. And, of course, only 9.37 on the West Coast for all you Californians. And I know there's a lot of you. Let's get this chug connect. Kang Logan, man. Be plenty of that coming up in several days. Or maybe weeks. We don't know. We just don't know, dude. Hype democracy. You can't take away my hype, man. No matter how chill the stream has to be, no matter how low Bitcoin goes, you can't take away the hype. So it's just continuing on down. Your next target is 10,330, where we are now. I don't see any sort of formidable support that would prop us up or make us reverse here. There's nothing, dude. You're just hanging out and you're taking your time. It takes time to sell off. It doesn't happen like in a second. Now it can, but to get to the 10-3 area, it might take a little bit longer of time, right? Negative Momo at its highest point right now and, and could continue to rise. Negative Momo. All right. Uh, we are extremely oversold now. We're at 23.75. Again, the lowest level we've seen since June 4th. You go any lower. You're actually, wow, you're lower than you were in June 4th. Uh, big one's at the lowest level of relative strength it's seen since January 12th. Before the move up. Getting myself drunk, connect, spin. Bruh. Deborah and Ard, man. All right, but you better get your Canadian currency you know, intact, man. It's been getting wrecked lately. All right. All right, gold connect. Getting yourself drunk, connect, wow. What's up, uh, Pepajin? He says, uh, start the... Uh, some need to start the day in Amsterdam, bro. Good morning, Bitcoin. Good morning, Bitcoin. That's right, dude. Pepigen. All right, Snare, what are you talking about, dude? Gross. All right, Steph Wilson. Yeah, I mean, look, dude. Until you break 7,500, I think you're okay. All right. That's, that's where the trend is in trouble. It certainly is. All right, so like even here, man, just the double top, you're rallying and could keep rallying. There were times on Bitcoin, okay? I'm not kidding. There were times on Bitcoin where you're just like, oh my God, how does it keep rising like that? You're such a dump. You've been making lower highs all year. How in the world are we doing this, man? Dude, like in this situation on this rising wedge where there was so much bearish divergence at the end, there was negative Momo right here. Brett, we called this drop, man. It happened. It was like perfect. It was so... And then things sucked for like months. It was so bad. Oh my God. The lack of volatility was just like, blah. But here, it just kept going, man. High point to low point. You got between the 50% and 618. That's where we are right now on Bitcoin. Right, between from the low point to high point between a 50 percent and 618 that move though took a lot longer to develop mo yeah it's all-time lows i thought uh someone was saying right i don't really look at that indicator or anything but uh yeah sounds like people are scared man people are real scared rsi lowest level we've seen since before any of the uptrend began yeah, we were still in the lowest points of the bear trend. 30,150 levels on the 4 our, our RSI, okay. Doug, I don't know, man. I don't know what you're, what that means, okay. <sighs> I'm 
sure JS, yeah, but who knows, man, if it'll ever happen. Either way, whether if it does or doesn't, Bitcoin still ser serves the same purpose and uh, will act as a store of value for anybody, and the government can't mess with it. I mean, they you know they can stop you, I guess, from having internet, but I mean, you get what I'm saying. It's permissionless. It's a truth machine. Takes out all the human lying, everything, dude. Takes out corruption. It's an invention. Well, St Steph Wilson, of course. Why would you not uh, vote in polls, man? Your opinion matters just as much as everyone else's, dude. Of course. Based on what, though, Mo? Can you give me an argument with technical analysis on why you think that there would be a 36% pump tomorrow? Sounds very, very hopeful. He took a joint of hopium. What's up, Dave from OC? Orange County, I guess. How do I know that? That's how famous Orange County is. Yeah, Vergas Games, it's true. There's still Pirate Bay, but there's no longer, uh, and I'm saying this because it's a proper noun, kick-ass torrents. You know, I wouldn't be saying the A word, I guess, on stream, but kick-ass torrents, they did knock his door down. They raided him, and he's in jail. He's in prison, and that site no longer exists. K-A-T.P-H, K-A-T.R-U. It was always changing, I remember, man, and they got him. They got him. And now there's something about uh, Pirate Bay that they install... There's, it's kind of sketchy now, the way Power Pay works. It's, oh yeah, it's like you you have to seed. If you don't seed, you like can't download the files or something. Something changed with Power Pay. Loot patient. Uh oh man. I thought you were off the hoopium, man. I thought you were cold turkey off it. Yeah, Julia. Julia spoke way too soon. It ain't happening. All right, I've been live now an hour and 45 minutes, Julia. It's getting late in the eve, and it's just a Tuesday night stream. What I think the main reason is for this downturn? Well, the fundamentals, sh like, literally flip-flopped in a day, first off. But second off, the... The bullish cipher, it played out. The bat cat pattern, because it's like a cipher bat at the same time, so it's a cat pattern. 786, 1618. You hit confluent fib areas and you hit the top of the downslipping resistance. And that's why a wave ended, C to D ended, and now a new wave has begun. And it, it's probably X, it either is. C to D here is X to A. Right like this. Cousinetti's Casino tip $23.58. cents. Ready to risk your luck. Pick a number between 1 to 10. Bruh. What is it that guys like this in the movie? He's like this. Pick a number, man. Pick a number. Delcast stock all time high was $700 million a stock. Jesus. It is now worth 10 cents. Oof. How, how was it even valued at that? And who would even have it set at that? James, thanks for the... Uh... Is that a joint? Sorry. Pick a number between 1 and 10. 3, 7. 2, 8. <laughs> Just too easy, man. Too easy. Um, but yeah, yeah, what you're looking for is like, where's the pivot point going to be? Is it going to be X to A and we're looking for B to pivot and rally for a lower high or higher high? You see what I'm saying? Or is it we're just now creating X to A, B, C, D, right? Like you don't know yet. Well, I don't think we have enough data for a harmonic, but this harmonic, it's already done. It, this one played out. This one's playing out right now. And we're waiting now. More data. Crypto Kai of the RSI. Bruh. How is it that you started doing price predictions on Dirt? Opened an office in Greenbow. 
Mike Leach next coach at Alabama. Tony Soprano new DB Cooper. Julia is cool. Logan hold 50% of XRP True Stoner and Sukoshi hold the other half. Breath. 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 Incorrect. It's how many points Ryan Fluger caused you to lose a TB12 by. Number is one. No one picks one, dude. No one that uh, knows what they're doing in the game, picking up between one and ten, would ever pick one. Okay, because it's too obvious. Same with ten, dude. This like like in craps. If anyone ever rolls ten, you're screwed. You, no one's hitting ten again, dude. All right. Uh, so that means I'm in debt. How many wheel spins now? Thanks, uh, cousin Eddie's casino. Is that the name of it? No, dude. That's so fail, dude. Cousin Eddie's casino. Pathetic. Those uh, peasants, man. All right. Well, I know that. I know I got one. Oh, one. We got, I know O2 at least. <sighs> All right. I'm actually looking out tonight, chat. So I know I owed two, I played two. Is that it? Two, three, four. Do we know anyone? So what do I think? Lower highs? Finance freedom? I certainly think lower highs. Lower highs, consecutive distribution. There was even shorter term distribution. Um, I did feel a little bit more optimistic just based on a potential textbook trade setup. Don't look at me. Look at the masters that will trade uh, double bottom breakouts all the time, and it's a back test breakout. And we did 11 1, but then once we broke it, optimism, optimism goes away, and now we wait for divergence to develop. I do think that uh, even if we solve a little bit more, we're still going to get bullish divergence on the MACD. And we're again at the lowest levels of RSI we've seen since January, before the bull run even began. All right. So oversold conditions can, yeah, we can get bounces from that. But and we're at the bottom of the channel too. You know, the next target for now, you probably are going to hit it is 10,330. All right, you'll probably hit that at some point soon. Whew. Holy crap, man. But uh, John Wetton, man, thanks to the 589. Oh, I forgot, dude. Anytime someone tips 589. XRP going to the moon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Price going to dip. Okay. Holy crap. Billy Langford, did you see Lily Bangford in the chat earlier? Look, when is theory? What's up, dude? You won money on 10 in Vegas, just saying. And craps? Dude, you are a lone anomaly. Dude, that's like... <sighs> you got... Drunk Mitch with TA. I am not amused. Chunk Connect LOL. I like Drunk Mitch with TA LOL. Bruh. Lots of love. Thanks for all the love, dude. Duh, that's too much love, though, man. Too many loves. Hi in the chat. Uh, okay. Ooh, thank you for the sub. Welcome. No! Finally got me, dude. Finally got me. <sighs> Scooby Doo Grave Diggers, what is that? Sounds weird, dude. Well, that escalated quickly. I have one beer left that's not open. You missed the old times when I was drunk? Yeah, dude, I'm not drunk right now. Like, this is my, I've drank one and a half beer, beer or beers, but, uh, oh, mother of God, dude. Bruh. The Princess Bride tipped $23.58. 
I knew you thought that I would think that you would think that I would think you'd never pick 1 or 10. Never gamble with a Sicilian when death is on the line. Was that from the movie? Thanks, Vizzini, Princess Bride. I don't even understand what's happening, dude. Making you poor. You just hit it, dude. You just hit the jackpot of the wheel spin, dude. Chug connect. <sighs> Figure it out, dude. Figure it out. Uh, Bazzini, I don't even know what to say, man. I don't even know how to do this. Now I'm starting getting like chug debt or wheel You're spin debt. You're making me poor connect lol. Paralysis. It's a beer chug paralysis, man. Baby, don't hurt me no more. Mark Lucas, I agree. Don't hurt me no more. That's okay, though. What is it, Danny? Mitch helps us learn nothing to do with making us rich or poor. What? Danny, what does that mean? IPA, drink it. So just, if it's accepted to finish this beer, where you can see the, all right, the condensations right here, is that uh, acceptable or is that... Uh, Nice. One for Prebs, at least. I gotta do one for me and one for Probs. One for the Probs demand. <sighs> Alright, this one's for Probs, but I know I owe one as well. Thank you, Julia. For the gold mean ratio, contribution, all that chug. Hit it again. Hit it again. Hit it again. <sighs> Alright, Probs, you must, uh. You must gulp. And now I must spend for myself again. I owe a chug, yes. Oops, sorry. 10,531, continuing to sell off. Oh, thank God. It's not. What is it? It's a vague pronoun, Doug. It's not. Oh, it's not enough, dude. I'm falling behind. I'll be okay. Sansare. I'll be okay. I think there's supposed to be a comma after help us learn. <laughs> The numbers that are least likely to be picked would be 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. So we'll just go with 7 every single time. We can go broke, but hey, at least our odds are good. The casino does it right, I guess. Craps connect. Man. I have a whiskey shot. I might just go do the whiskey shots in lieu of the chug. I think that's fair, right? Anytime it's like, oh, you have to chug a beer or take a shot, as long as it's that 1 and 3 fourths ounce of liquor or alcohol right i say ta i mean you don't tell us when to buy or sell but teach us skills to make the deductions on our own well yeah yeah the in, in crypto man it's it's so difficult like because there's so much opportunity on other markets and like oh based on the sec i can't give literal like trade setups unless i want to open myself and expose myself to stupid amounts of li legal liability but like Dude, there's so much more going on in the world besides crypto every day. All right, so this market's Thanks for inefficient. Doing these streams, Mitch. Is that a joint? Michael H, man, thank you for the 420. Uh, I like your emote. Is that the guy at the Fizinachi Fnafav and the Machi guy? And the Bogdanovs dump on him, and it's like the old version of him. Y'all see that Michael H avatar? Oh my God. Three spins for Doug Connect. Bruh. Excuse me, man. You're barely making it. Three spins for Doug Connect. L O L. Why? Why three? Why three? I don't understand. I'm not in debt. I've kept up. I've kept up the books. I have an accountant in the other room, taking you know tabs on the spin debt. All right, man. He's on retainer. I know Julia. I know. What's up, Austin R. Man. Well, good night to you. There is question mark. Seth and Achi. Yeah, Vet Moonboy and Achi. Let me uh I don't know, I guess I'm screwed. I don't know what would be like the beer probably warm, not trying to drink it. Oh no, that's still very cold. Uh, dude, if you own this if you own this dude, a Yeti, this thing for cans the beer stays cold like forever, like for many hours. 
Uh, it tastes like I just got it out of the fridge. Now I just took it out because I don't know what to do with it. Alts are so dead it looks like you can't kill some of them any further. Yeah, dude. I mean, but then you look back and you're like, dang, dude, they're still just at 2017 levels. They're not lower than that, a lot of them, which is weird. MG, I uh, gave it a shot 11-1, got stopped out, and uh, now I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for really good uh, reasons to buy. And I'm talking, I'm looking for the oscillators to show me a reason to buy right now, okay? There's not a real reason to buy right now on the oscillators. Okay. And really, a wave has just begun, I feel like, right? This wave ended, a new wave has begun. I want, I'm trying to, once we figure out a pivot point, we'll decide and figure out, hey man, this is X to A, or this is, uh, we're looking for B from X to A to B, right? I say seven's good enough for a spin. Oh, you do heck, man? You're not Canadian though, all right, man. Heck, bruh. I know I owe two now. Crap. Two wheel spins. I know for a fact. Ten thousand five hundred thirty-six Bitcoin. In the meantime, we're spinning, spinning the wheels. Oh, thank God. Heck, drink, bruh. Drink. No, Mitch. Don't be a boon tank connect us. Owe me three. <sighs> okay. That was two right there, dude, right? Poo-Tang. What is this, 1998? Remember Tang, the orange drink? That was two. This is three, Doug. Oh, my God. At least I know I don't have to worry about this one. I'm getting closer and closer to hat time. Doug Bernard, St. Bernard. All right, was that good right there? Why is my chat off? My chat box is like, all weird. Bruh. Oh my God, David Terry, what are you doing to me, man? Chug the dip. Let me get this wheel off real quick. And then I will do the wheel for you. Um, what was I about to turn on? Just lost my train of thought completely. What the? Bruh. Chug the dip. Chug the dip. Uh, David Terry. All right, man. Here we go, dude. I don't know what was going on just there, but uh, here we go, dude. Here we go. Bitcoin. 10,526. Near session lows. Four hour candle. I think we're at it. Social. All right, everyone. Dang, dude. Social's not been getting hit at all tonight. We are 119 minutes into the stream. If you're enjoying that, enjoying that 119 minutes, hit the like button, that bell, that sub, hype in the chat, chill in the chat, everything in the chat. Okay, man. Don't Doug Bernard connect. You're Doug Bernard and connect, dude. You've said it. You were the one that came up with Doug Bar Bernard connect. I'm just calling you St. Bernard, dude. Okay. Dude, you did it, man. 10,180 basically tested. If it holds above 10,300, we'll show strength with 10,180. That's the level you got your eye on. Uh, well, 10,100 is a critical support, uh, not only on the daily, but also look left to uh, July, you know, late July levels. Yeah, that's it's definitely marked as a support, uh, but below 10,100 is 9,800, which is the 786. You have a little faith. Again, it's been over two weeks, Julia, I think. Over two weeks since I've worn a hat. All right? What's up, Max X? Good to see you, man. Chill, Dark Cloud Cover, man. Take a toll on the soul. They can't, man, RS Nerd. They can't. Gotta have a uh, reward of risk. Gotta have critical thinking behind entries, stops, and um, so those emotions don't set in. Dude. That was like, you take a chance, you know the chance uh, has a, it, it has a, a chance to break to the upside, but it can also fail. 
taking a loss in your stop loss triggering is just overhead. All right, it's like you having to buy food. There's a restaurant in it, right? It's ready, Julia, but the jar is not ready. Dude, someone tipped in burst coin? Heck. Oh my god, I forgot we had burst coin in the jar. I'm like, what? I need to do something about... See, the problem with... I want to make it to where, like, the jar... Like, if you tip, it could be a random... Like, let's say you tip me five bucks, seven, eight dollars, whatever it is. I would want it and prefer it to be rent like there's a 30% chance or a 20% or a 10% chance that it would be a Litecoin emoji or this or Monero or a Binance coin or anything like that. But the problem is the alert box is another widget. And it's like, I love keeping those uniform. Like, you know, Twitch has bits. And when you drop, when you drop cheers, which are bits, like 100 bits, the purple emoji ball, you know, shows up on screen and it falls in the jar. It's per, It's uniform. That's what I'm trying to do over here, and they don't give me any type of custom. I mean, they give me stupid amounts of customization, but not to the customization levels that I would prefer, and it kind of sucks. So, truth, Casey, Casey ruined the RV trip, Kappa. You know what I'm talking about? When Papa Giorgio, anytime you want, Mo. I shaved my beard, so you'd call me Papa Giorgio, man. All right. Brent Thomas, what's up, dude? Thank you, man, for the five. I guess with the storms that were coming, they never came. So weird. Alvin Weather, dude. Take a belt and play hard. Twins, please, and thanks. Price to gonna dip. XRP going to the moon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Brent Thomas, for the $5 super chat. Take a belt, play hush wins. Crazy how big they got, right? It's weird they're not really in crypto anymore. Uh, Danny, I agree. I agree. Did I do that? I don't think I did that, did I? Imminent Paradox, that would be divine. 30k subs for this channel would be great, be wonderful, um, but uh, it just seems so far out of reach right now, man. Like, I don't know if it, uh, it'll ever happen, man. I don't even know if 20k will ever happen. Gotta go get this freaking whiskey shot. Oh my god, dude. I'm not chugging a freaking IPA. Bull. All right, let me go get this whiskey shot, Julia. Chat. Maybe we'll vote on the. There's a little bit of gap space left in the jar, but we'll do the vote on the. Ha Maybe we'll just do it now. We'll do the vote in case the jar fills up completely right we are now overtime chat been a lot two hours and four minutes see the like button that bell that sub i in the chat okay here you go There it is, chat. There's your straw pull for a hat. How do I have the energy and the will to do this every night? Uh, must love it. Uh, it must be the money. Dude, I was doing this long before there was money involved, and that's the argument no one could ever make about that. Uh, he does it for the money. Nah, wrong. Dude, there was no money when I started doing this. There was none. None at all. It just hap It just so happens that it happened. It came. But hey, man, maybe that's testament to what I'm trying to do to help people, right? I'm giving... I'm literally a, a mental stripper, right? Where, hey, man, I'm literally unpiecing parts of my mind and trying to give them to you. Oh, yeah. You like that, baby? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stripper, dude. I'm a mental stripper. Bruh. 
That's right. So go vote on the hat. Dang, dude. End it? Ten thousand five hundred twenty-four on the corn, bruh. Let me go get this uh this shot that I owe. Be right back. Vote on the hat, Kings. I just need to keep more water beers on deck. <coughs> it's not even worth it, man. Dude, I hate shots. 10,512. Low lows, man. All right. Beginning to crack. 
this little downsloping channel that really started its development August 6th. Here we go, man. Two hours, 48 minutes to go until four hour close, man. Oh, it looks like Leroy Jenkins landslide. the hat we were waiting on the the poll to close 41 votes get wrecked chat you want to vote on this you want to shift the tide change the momentum go ahead dude the hat dude the hat this is the first time i'm even looking at the results so you got to give it a little bit more time we'll get the hat on no doubt What's up, Ed? Cool, man. I missed much when I was gone. I'm starting to feel womp wompy. Okay. Thanks, Ed, man. Oh, there's Doug Bernard. St. Bernard. Vet to what, dude? Vet to what? Oh, my God, man. It's awful. It's not what you were looking for, dude. You're just continuing to sell off. A trash can. Okay. V chain did. So V chain uh, from his previous high, or excuse me, pre previous low to high, he bounced off the 1272, rallied, back tested the channel as resistance, and said, okay, time to get wrecked, sold off. And look, you broke below the 1272, what'd you do? You rallied in one, two, three, four times uh tested as resistance when it was one support and now you're selling off some more uh four thousand or sorry 45 percent of one penny is the next target i do declare I'm trying to hold on to some support if you're looking left but uh oh boy man it's like yes bullish divergence and on the bullish divergence it manifested into literally nothing. Nothing. That, that's what bullish divergence turned into. This little scrubby, positive Instagram, wig. pathetic, trash, no demand on this asset. I don't care if Vet Moon Boy is part of this community. There's just no demand on this. I'm sorry. Don't get mad at me, man. Okay, it looks like literally no one voted. Okay, whatever. We're going Leroy Jenkins then. Bruh. Two seconds. All right. Hold on. Bruh. On the Lounge Radio, man. up and back so bitcoins continue to sell off what are the altcoins doing the exact same thing nothing which is crazy good right it's it's not crazy good it's just more like crazy interesting because we know the meta what it's been because i'm live every single day so we know what's been happening is like bitcoin will have a really nice run of the upside altcoins won't move much they'll eh, they'll, they'll try to follow but just bots probably algos and stuff uh, not making any kind of uh, retrace like Bitcoin, and then Bitcoin will dump, and then the alts would make those equal dumps together, right, with Bitcoin percentage wise. And then now with Bitcoin 10,500, Ethereum, what's it done? It's not budging much at all. 
Not yet anyway. So it's just an interesting thing to take note of. The meta is the meta shifting because the meta constantly shifts different time periods, month long metas, two month, three month, quarter long metas, right? I'm talking about metas as in like the the altcoin correlation to Bitcoin price action, right? That's just what I mean kind of by metas. Meta as in like big, the BTC pairs have been, the meta for them has been terrible for a very, very long time. We had one period of time that we took extreme amounts of advantage of right before Bitcoin became Kang's in, mid, in uh, February, right? We were able to take advantage of multiple trade setups on the Bitcoin pairs from like uh, December to February. Like a two month period of Bitcoin Kangage. Remember Jeremy S's legendary Raven, Raven call on the falling wedge? And then there were many others, 88 of BTC, all like OS, IOST. There were so many that played out brilliantly, the others that didn't. But that's the last time we've seen any type of BTC pairs that actually have been able to trade. You haven't been able to trade BTC pairs really for longs. I was just saying like seven months plus. Okay. Russian bear coming in saying 20k by the end of the month. We shouldn't be the Russian bull, not the Russian bear. Okay, dude. I think you, uh, you're drunk, dude. More vodka for a Russian bear. Okay, man. Uh, and someone is a declining wedge, you just a falling wedge on the one minute. Oh, well, I don't do much of the one minute, dude, or never, ever, and ever do one minutes. So, are you not entertained, a cool man? Oh, uh, we checked XRP to BDC today, it broke the upside, but it's just back testing an area that was once a support as resistance now, and I highly doubt it's moved much since then, uh, you know. Yep, big old nothing burger, 2806, still nothing, dude. I'm sorry, but thanks RP to BDC. We call it Forever Chinese. Because all it does is scrub out. And look, it's rallying to hit and backtest the July 11th low as a resistance. And we'll probably solve again. Though we know that on the daily uh, low on price, a lower low on price, and a lower low on price. You've said it before, the best community in crypto this channel is my go-to. Thanks for the great content. Bruh. Jeffrey Allen, man, thanks for the $5 uh, contribution. Much love. Thank you, bruh. Um, it is. It, it, it truly is. This is uh, seriously such a good group of uh, qualitative individuals, right, from around the planet with, um, I don't know, the the yearning to learn a trade which no pun intended because your trade would be trading here very rarely would you ever use that pun like oh what's a trade to trade man but uh, that's specifically what it is or just to analyze and be able to identify patterns that coincide with other oscillators and variables that are all pointing in the same direction right that's that's what we do and man I so wish when I was learning how to trade and how to chart and how to analyze charts, I had a community like this, man. Bruh. Dot Pepe used the one minute chart. Pepe got back to frown. What's up, James? Going to things with threes, man. Uh, hopefully this shows up. Let me click it and open it. Okay, he's talking about a one minute chart. They use the one minute pennant. The thing is, though, about a pennant, it's a neutral pattern, so it can go either way. Classic bull pennant. It's just a classic pennant. There's no bull pennant about it. Uh, it could, I guess you could call it a, a bull pennant, uh, I guess, because the impulse before it was bullish, but um, they can go either way. Just like we saw in Bitcoin, that bullish pennant coin flip, right? coin flip so uh thank you james glenn for the the wreckage big connect charts yes bruh kappa's 
mini capas. Oh god, that shot's that shot was freaking gnarly, dude. What a gnarly freaking uh, shot, man. Feeling it. Okay, feeling it. Danny Armada's like, I remember the days when Mitch actually got drunk on stream. Yeah, dude, I miss those days. Well, normally it's drink troll in the chat. Bruh. Uh, Tree Fitty, man. Thanks for the 199. Hey, hey, look, you know what? You know what uh, inflation is, chat? When Tree Fitty becomes 199. Okay. Welcome to your fiat currency that has uh, depreciated so much that tree fitty equals two dollars 199 all right i'm just saying big trend line on rsi so he says okay the weekly candle connect huh RSI trend line connect. Um, RSI trend line connect broken, you mean, right? Bad news. The, what was that? Uh, you said weekly? Yeah, weekly, dude, weekly. Excuse me, officer. I'm a little high. Dave Chappelle's kit. <sighs> Tree Fitty's like uh, RSI trend line. Y'all, oh, y'all broke it, man. You broke your trend line. But whatever, dude. I mean, okay. Great, right? Great. It's XRP, man. They didn't cure cancer. They're a global banking solution that... Uh, XRP is a utility token that they use for banks and they dump the asset when they're down. You know, that's like the means, right? They use that token. The banks use the token to transfer the money real fast and then they dump it when they're done with the, when the whole transaction between two parties. So it's not like, I mean, it can very well be argued that when you buy into XRP, you are not investing in Brad Garlinghouse and, and Schwartz. Right, David Schwartz, you're not. Like, you, there's arguments that can easily be made that this is not the investment tool to use if you want to get in on, on those guys' brains and the project and what they're doing, the transactions and the transaction costs, right? What they make, the revenue they make off those transactions, right? It can definitely be argued that. Bruh. Candle hasn't closed, we'll bounce this week. Tree Vidi, all right, man. We'll see it. Sounds better than the U.S. dollar. Just saying, man. Thank you, dude. Right, because U.S. dollars devalued so much, man. Hey, hey, take it easy, David Terry. You're on Third Street. Wow. RS Nerd saying short's going to get wrecked. All right, they're deaf going to get wrecked. Well, we know deaf definitely doesn't exist in our world right it's all it could be a higher probability that they're getting wrecked if you have good arguments with technical analysis but we just don't know yet you know what look this is not leroy jenkins you know what leroy jenkins really is this is leroy jenkins dude okay if we need to look at a picture of leroy jenkins dude i'll show you why this is actually magneto <laughs> Oh my god man <laughs> let me show you leroy jenkins all right what happened to leroy jenkins man well evidently leroy jenkins didn't have a helmet on wow i thought i could have sworn he had a helmet on oh whatever what does it look like you can turn your helmet skin off only scrubs did that or if you had a really really scrubby tiered helm that made you look stupid but i know for a fact this is the hat he wore I, dude i have it man i have it on my soundboard i can see it i can't believe it he doesn't have a helmet that's so stupid man no way oh 
Oh my god, dude. Every picture on the internet is showing Leroy Jenkins without a hat, but I know for a fact this is the hat he wore as a paladin, a retribution paladin. I know, dude. With the skin on. <sighs> There's just no pictures, man. Leroy Jenkins has been recreated three billion times now. It's pathetic, dude. All right. Here we go. Uh, this is hardly the helmet I'm looking for. But uh, you get it, man. I don't know. Leroy Jenkins helmet. Okay, kind of similar. No horns. But there weren't horns in the game. I know for a fact, dude. I played World of Warcraft, man. All right. I knew it, man. Oh, uh, hey, look. Hi, I'm Bob Marley. I come into a live stream. Hey, difference between me and Bob Marley. I'm live, living my best life. Bob Marley's coming in, not living his best life, and just not investing in himself. He's coming in and talk crap. So who's the real crap? Bob Marley, the scrub who just got banned, is crap. I hope he's watching. He's probably watching. Get wrecked, dude. How's it feel? You feel bad, man? You mad, dude? That I'm living my best life and you're not? Oh, it must burn, dude. It must real burn. It's so, it must really burn. But it's okay, man. You got a problem. Figure out that void in your life and get after it, man. Invest in yourself so you won't have to be a butthole, okay, to other people. You know, life is re it's real easy to pull people off the table, but to pull people on the table, which we try to do every day, that's difficult, man. There's purpose in that. Pulling people off the table, there's no purpose in that. Okay, there's no point. It's stupid, dude. Trying to destroy and hurt people. Mm -mm. Help people. Bring people up. Constantly. As much as you can. Whenever you think about, oh man, someone just did something stupid. Someone just said someone, something stupid. Right? Just think about that being you, man. Be like, dang, dude. That person just really screwed up or really did something stupid around you in real life. And be like, eh, we could laugh at them, make them feel stupid. But dang, dude, I know I've been there before, right? Just empathy, man. Empathy drives the world in a positive way. All right. I guess he bought uh, XRP at $3. Whatever, man. It's all good, dude. They're going to be those negative people that we can't escape from in life. They're going to be here. They're going to get banned. And it's going to be real quick. Bruh. It's obviously not the real Bob Marley. But yeah, he doesn't have his own identity, so he'll just create another one, right? So Jason Horton, man. Alistair's on the uh, table. No, you're on the stairs, dude, which is the same as a table, right? I guess stairs could actually be taller than the table. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Alistair, uh, your name. But anyway, man, we're just looking at the Leroy Jenkins hat. And evidently, he just didn't wear a hat. Okay. Thanks for the uh, 457 people still tuned in somehow, some way. As I guess I'm Magneto or Leroy Jenkins right now with the, the hat on. Okay. What's his mask? John, dude. It's Leroy Jenkins. Okay. Leroy Jenkins, get wrecked. That's it. He had no idea what was going on. Well, I don't really care, man. Guess what? You judge someone in the first three seconds of joining. <laughs> you go ahead and judge, man. Judge and get destroyed. No one cares. He can uh, he can keep watching, and if he really wants to comment again, he can uh, create a new account and not be such a piece of crap. No, no, you're not being censored. I can literally see what you're saying right now, so you're okay, man. Holy crap, man! 
So yeah, man. All right, sorry. We're on uh, Ethereum. Uh, Litecoin hasn't moved. It sold off a little bit. Same thing, right? Bitcoin's really selling off. It's down nearly three percent. Three hundred dollars on the new day. That's only been open for five hours and thirty minutes or so. And these altcoins aren't budging. They're not moving, man, at all. Guess who's up? Bitcoin Cash. Yet it's not breaking the overhead resistance discussed in the day stream. Has not broken it. 350, 354. Can't do it, man. The Magneto ICO. Invest now. Please don't. What's up, Royal Xander? You said you just realized it's live. You thought you were watching last night's stream. You are watching last night's stream. Womp, 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 womp. What are you talking about, Royal Xander? Why don't you wake up? Anyway. What's up, John uh, Dayton, man? It says rest in peace. Spock Talk, good to see you, man. Look up pics of MF Doom. What? what blasphemy are you speaking, dude? Dude, oh my god, dude. MF Doom. Okay. <laughs> He's in this doom mess, man. Dude, I thought it was like Magneto, dude. I thought like, if it's not going to be Ma uh, Leeward Jenkins, it's Magneto. Dude, I was Magneto in Dodgeball, okay? We were uh, the whatever, the X-Men, and I was Magneto, dude. And we killed it, dude. We destroyed. Right, kind of. It's just like a, a red, a red helm. You get it though? It's like Magneto. Ooh, it's not exactly, but it's like. Okay, man. Magneto connect. Bruh. What's up, Blessed 1B, man? Mad villain? Who's that? Atlant Cap, dude. MF dude equals goat. What do you What is this? What about Badlands Chugs? Has he chugged anything lately? See, chugged any sugary beverages as of late that uh, would make us scared for our lives and our pancreas or something? Okay. Oh my god, dude. That's a Russian Leroy Jenkins. Whenever Leroy Jenkins attacks, all creatures you control attack if able. Sacrifices a chicken, regenerate. Leroy Jenkins. Let's do this. Maximus Decimus Meridius. Um, no. He never wore this hat. Oh, yeah. Holy crap, dude. Kind of. Kind of. Yes. I agree. Kind of. Definitely kind of, right? But you can see it's a little different. Like silver versus gold. Okay, man. Decent, man. Dees. Why would that not show up? Maximus Decimus Meridius. I think the uh, YouTube thought you were cursing in Latin or something. <laughs> Relaxing sounds. Gonna sleep to this. Your device is offline. Connect. Swipe down from the top of your screen. Then go to settings. Network. Shut up! Oh, he's a talented rapper with many monikers. Ah, oh, Dark Cloud cover. Bruh. Oh, thanks, man. Eric Sanchez, the... I guess the main foundation of the Patreon is education. And then we try to trade when, you know, I mean, like, dude, look, again, this is the most inefficient market that exists, right? There's three big ones, stock market, Forex, and crypto. And crypto is very, very new. Uh, Forex is the most efficient, all right? And then stock market's pretty freaking good, but just the way the PPT has been doing things, been making it tougher to take shorts. <laughs> but uh, there are ways, there are, there are times you can do it. But yeah, man, this market for swing trading is the least efficient. Okay.
Thanks, Ape Show. I don't know about that, man. I don't know if you could ever compare me as a person to literally the movie Gladiator, which was way more legendary than me just as a person. Okay, dude? Certainly. I don't think anyone can argue with that. But it's true, man. It's very, very true. Hmm. Dang, man. Can't keep up. Can't keep up. But that's okay, man. So, look, chat. I don't know. I've been live for two hours, 36 minutes now. Uh, Bitcoin's not doing much besides selling off. It's continuing to bounce a little bit off that uh, critical support that is down sloping. I guess we can end it with that. But uh, getting a little tired, right? Holy crap, dude. Crypto fish. Bruh. Notice how the selling pressure is just not there for these assets, these other assets, these uh, altcoins, these larger altcoins, but it's there for Bitcoin. Bruh. Are we chugging tonight? Is that a joint? I did. I took a shot of freaking whiskey, man. It's hitting me like a freaking dump truck. Crypto Fish, man. Thanks so much for the light coin in the jar. The 25 super chat. Good God. I haven't chat for him. Crypto Fish, man. Uh, we'll do a wheel spin for you, but uh, no, we can't even, dude. I can't even do a wheel spin. I'm out of beer. I can't crack another beer, man. There's just no point. It's too late in the eve. I'll, how about this crypto fish? I will owe you a wheel spin next time I drink on stream. You know, maybe I'll try to do it tomorrow. But the thing is, I can't. Don't know if I can really do it tomorrow because there is a bunch of stuff coming, and it's all quality content for you, the viewer. All right, it's coming. I, I just I can't I have to be a little vague for the sake of security for myself and others, and that's just the way it is, man. Uh, Crude fish, dude, I, I owe you a, a wheel spin, okay, man. Thanks so much, brother, man, for uh, for that. That's huge, dude. Big time, man. So look, dude, it's like 1:40 a.m. Eastern right now. Super late. Tuesday now Wednesday morning yes let it be noted from Leroy Jenkins and all the other Warcraft gods that I owe a wheel spin next time I drink it's on I owe it to crypto fish all right man how are traditional markets attracted anyone uh, go take a look at any blue chip or any long t uh, all right so think about an uptrend right uptrend bullish patterns are really so in uptrends things retrace but then they create and paint bullish patterns so people play those bullish patterns right and they go long at those bullish areas and then it runs again and they have fundamental value behind them versus crypto that have none right oh zrx dude falling wedge but guess what go look at a falling wedge on an asset that makes hundreds of millions of dollars a quarter man i'd feel way more comfortable on an asset like that right the the whole fundamental side behind traditional like you know or equities makes it a lot more intriguing to a lot of people okay it's a day crypto fish let's go dad i'm gonna date a fish man or something Bruh. Thank you, man. All right, but uh, thanks so much for all the likes, the love, the support, the contributions tonight. Uh, new subs. Mm, come on, dude. We don't grow any. We're not growing anymore, and that's okay. Maybe it's just the market. I don't know, man. We're dumping. So I'm just happy to have uh, all of you watching the stream. It's a true honor and privilege to be able to be to try to attempt to be a positive influence in your life. No one has uh, a great day every single day. So if like you're, you know, you didn't have a good day and you tune in the stream, I try everything I can to at least try to be positive for you, uh, to where maybe your day gets a little bit better. All right. So uh, I'll just be back tomorrow. Again, y'all are incredible. This is the best community in crypto, and I am very blessed. All right. So I'll be back tomorrow. So until then, respect the T A.